Hey everybody, I'm Jacob Castro. Welcome to another video on Jacob's Aquarium. So today I just want to give you guys some tips on the best lighting for your Planet Aquarium and some other things that'll kind of help you along the way. So for my setup, I use a Coral Life Aqualite T5 fixture, okay? And I use a True Lemon In uh, Flora bulb for my first one. And then the second one, I use a 6700K uh, T5 bulb as well. So that one and that one, two of those on my uh, tank. And then also, I had an older fixture that I've had for like years, and I wanted to kind of still get some use out of that. So I bought another T8 bulb that's around in the same Kelvin rating. It's about 6700K as well, but it has more of a kind of blue pinkish glow instead of these other 6700K bulb that I have that's basically just a clear, you know, uh, color. So uh, with all these lights combined, um, I get a good, you know, wattage to gallon ratio. My baby tears are carpeting out uh, perfectly. They're not growing as fast as they probably could if I had two Coral Life Aqualite uh, setups, um, but uh, they're still getting, you know, decent growth rate and they're carpeting just like they should. So pretty much, you know, aquarium plants prefer a Kelvin rating anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 K. But I found that the 6700K bulbs, along with the True Luminin uh, Flora bulbs as well, uh, grow plants much better than the 10,000 or any other you know, Kelvin rating. I've noticed that that's pretty much been the standard recommendation for aquarium plants, and it seems to be working very well for my plants. And I know that it'll work well for you guys as well. So that's pretty much what I recommend. Now, of course, there also is a, a question of brightness. You know, what fixtures provide the appropriate brightness for aquarium plants? As it says in its name, the Coral Life Aqualite really does provide high output lighting with the T5 bulbs. Um, I have used other T5 fixtures like a long time ago in the past when I was a kid. And some of them didn't provide that high output and the lights weren't that bright. But um, ever since I went back to T5 bulbs after I stopped using my cheap, you know, fixture that I got from PetSmart, um, I found that this fixture does provide very high output and very, very bright light with the uh, T5 bulbs. And that's really what you're looking for if you want to grow any carpeting foreground plant because if you don't use very bright light for most of those plants, you know, some of them require lower lighting, but... Uh, generally, you know, to make a carpet of foreground plants, you need very bright light. And if you don't have that, the plants tend to grow upwards than to spread out. So you really want to make sure that if you want to grow a carpet, that you have really bright lights. And people have been asking me what my dosing schedule is, or if I dose any fertilizers, period. And the answer to that question is no, I don't dose anything. I don't use any type of liquid fertilizers. My plants grow perfectly fine without using liquid fertilizers. And I haven't really noticed a difference when I've tried using liquid fertilizers. But the main reason why my plants do, do grow so well, and especially why they have that red coloration in them, is because of my substrate. I use a fluor fluorite eco-complete substrate, and it does have a lot of silt, clay, and iron in it. Uh, pretty much it's all the same thing. <laughs> uh, so, it, And that gives the plants its red coloration, and that's pretty much a good uh, you know, nutrient that plants need to grow very well. So um, most of it has to do with my substrate, but if you were using substrate that was lower in nutrients or lower in iron and different kinds of nutrients, you probably should dose some fertilizers because uh, those things that your plants require will be missing from your, from your water basically, so, or for just from your tank period. And on top of you know, the iron that's already in my substrate, I have actually purchased iron tabs online and added more iron into the uh, substrate. It does kind of get a little dusty in the tank at first when you, or when, when I did add them, but after a while and, and after everything settled in, as you can see, you know, the plants just get this very beautiful red coloration in them. But like I said, they already had that before. It's just I felt the need for some reason to add more iron to the substrate. It's uh, something that, you know, most Aquarius do. They can't just, you know, uh, stay with one thing. It has to be more and more and more and more. <laughs> and lastly, I do use some type of fertilizer. I guess you could call it fertilizer, but I use CO2 for my tank. And the main reason why I use CO2 is because plants in the wild naturally consume CO2 to photosynthesize and to grow. So without CO2, you're missing out on that natural effect with your plants. And trust me, it's going to be a lot harder to grow aquarium plants without CO2. I've tried it before. I tried it with baby tears, and I just have not been successful 
every single time. Uh, there's actually a lot of videos on YouTube where people have said that they don't use any CO2 and the tank just looks, you know, packed with plants. But, you know, pretty much it's not like a long-term, you know, thing. You really can't have a bursting with live planted aquarium without CO2. I mean, a lot of the big guys recommend it, but a lot of the DIY guys and, and guys that go the cheaper route as far as, you know, things for their aquarium, they don't recommend it. But honestly, I have seen nothing but progress with my tank with using CO2. And like I said before, the times that I haven't used CO2, I just could not get that fast growth rate. I couldn't get any purling at all. I couldn't, uh, you know, get any foreground plants to spread out into carpet. It was just impossible. So I use CO2 because it works for me. It's worked very good for me, actually, as you guys can see with the progress with my baby tears. And uh, it's worked in the past for me. So I'd recommend it if you guys can afford it. Um, most of the time, you know, a lot of the Aquarius out there, they spend more money on their f uh, filtration than they, uh, than they have. So it's kind of hard to buy extra things like CO2 and stuff like that. But Aquatech makes a really nice CO2 regulator and it's fairly cheap, cheaper than any other regulator that I've seen if you guys want to go ahead and look them up. Um, and also uh, they sell a paintball tank adapter so you can use a $20 paintball tank and get them filled up at your paintball shop for cheap. And I know I said lastly, but I just want to mention one more thing, guys. Something very, very important and near and dear to my heart. It really is. Um, I've decided that it is time to step up. It is time to expand. And I'm going to be, well, I actually already opened an online store, but for Lava Rock only. I wanted to actually also start selling plants because there are a lot of people out there that need plants for their tank. And, uh, you know... Prices are pretty high on most of the big guys' you know, website, the big company website. So I wanted to offer aquarium plants on my website for a far cheaper price, a more affordable price, so you guys can buy more plants faster, stock up your tanks, and get that nice carpet of baby tears, for example, or a nice wall of you know, Rotala, Liquidia, whatever you guys want to do. Um, so I'm trying to get a business license. Well, I shouldn't say trying. I'm going to get a business license. Um, I'm doing I'm in the process of doing that now and then I also have to get a resale wholesale license and all those certificates and everything like that so I'm working on all that right now and uh, pretty soon I'm gonna start selling aquarium plants on my website and I will trust me I guys I will try to sell them for the cheapest cheapest price possible um, like I've said with my lava rock store I'm not in this for the money I'm not in this to make a huge amount of profit. I just want to make a little bit of money to cover the cost of doing things and uh, to cover the cost of making videos for you guys like product reviews and stuff so I can keep doing this because it's something that I really love and along the way also one day make a living from this so I can do this full time because this is what I love to do. I love to teach you guys things. I love making these videos and I love offering things to you guys on my website. For example, Lava Rock has been selling very well on my website. I've shipped two orders so far, uh, which, uh, by the way, I, I have to give this guy a shout out because he's the second guy to order from me, uh, Zachary Budnick from uh, Washington. Thank you so much for ordering Lava Rock from my website. I really appreciate it. He's the second guy to order from my website, like I said, and I'm hoping that's uh, you know just the start because I really like uh, offering this up to you guys. I like picking out the rock and you know, thinking about how, you know, the, the person that I'm shipping this to is going to use this in their tank. It's just a lot of fun for me. So, like I said, in the process of setting up an online store where I can sell plants to you guys for the rock bottom price, and I'm hoping one day that this can be a full-time thing and I can do what I love. Uh, to be able to do that and to be able to sell aquarium plants, I'm going to need more fish tanks. I'm going to need to have a couple holding tanks, grow out tanks, all kinds of stuff. So... <laughs> I'm not sure where I'm going to put that, but I have a much bigger apartment now than I did before, and uh, I do have a really huge walk-in closet that I can actually use to grow plants as well. Um, so I might have to go the smaller route and just use a bunch of 10-gallon tanks um, to grow out plants or to hold plants and holding tanks, you know. But uh, either way, I'm going to try to make it happen because this is what I want to do, and I know I'm going to have a lot of fun doing it. And I know I'm going to have a lot of fun uh, showing you guys how I, I build everything and build my holding tanks and whatever. So it's going to be quite an adventure from here on out. Um, I never thought I was going to be uh, going to be able to do this or even try to do something like this. But uh, this channel has done so great that I feel that it's time to step up and do something on this large of a scale. And I hope you guys will 
have nothing but support from me along the way. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love each and every one of you guys. Have fun with your tanks. Have fun with your fish and your plants and everything. And just have a great time with this hobby. It's one of the best hobbies in the world. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next time.